Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Teleglitch. Oh, I forgot, I must have died at the end of last one. Okay, so right back to the beginning. Teleglitch die more edition, I should say. I gotta say guys, I like this game a hell of a lot. I wonder what our guy was doing in here, he's got a lot of computers. But um, I like this game a hell of a lot. I might even love it to some degree. Love it like I love my own mother. But, <laughs> but... But it's pretty, pretty hard. It's a very difficult game. And, um, no. Stay away from me. Wow, there's a lot of dudes here. And I've taken such a horrible amount of damage as is. Let's just blow them all up. Nice. There we go. Only one dude left. But, but as I was saying, um, it's a grand example of how, uh, oh, wow. There's a lot more dudes here. Uh, but basically, this is this is a really hard game. You know, it's a, a very challenging, um, hardcore kind of game. But I think I'm also definitely pretty inexperienced and bad at it still. So I want to change that for you guys. You know, I want I want to get better. I want to be the world's strongest teleglitch player. But these things take time and practice. So I just got to keep working at it. Stay strong. Blow up a bunch of dudes in one shot like that and make me feel like a badass. <laughs> There's always dudes hiding in corners. Always wanting to give me a surprise. Oh my god. There we go. Okay. It's not that hard to deal with. There must be a teleglitch right back there because it was making the like a uh, kind of sound effect. Oh god. I didn't know the teleglitches make different sound effects at each one. Like, that one has kind of a higher-pitched noise that it's making than the one that was way down over here. But anyways, moseying on along. Is this a secret? I don't think that's a secret. Kind of looks like one, but it isn't. Guys! This is completely random, but it's just something that happened recently. I saw that, um... <gasps> oh, this is a secret right here. I saw that the game Nat... The first-person shooter... Very strategically based first-person shooter, I should say. At the that is this a nice nail bomb? Yeah, uh, this <laughs> is nail bomb. Is a kind of like lipstick, right? Or finger nail polish? I'm trying to remember correctly. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, back to what I was saying. Oh wait, is this another secret? No, I don't think so. But natural selection is a game that I've wanted to get into for a really long time because I it's like a a more str a very strategically based first person shooter as opposed to something like Call of Duty. I'm not dissing Call of Duty at all here. Call of Duty is a perfectly cool and fine game on its own. But unlike Call of Duty where you pretty much just run in run and gun all the time, you know, this one you actually have to plan out. If you're unfamiliar with natural selection, it even has Mixed in with a first-person shooter, two of the players are actually engaged in, like, a top-down, real-time strategy game, like StarCraft. It's it's pretty, pretty awesome. Oh, I thought we got all of them with that. But I just saw that the game was added to Linux, which, uh, I'm happy for Linux people, but it made me super- Oh, we're so close to being able to access this. Oh, well, we'll just use a uh, explosive. I'm super happy for Linux people because, uh, because you know, they're limited with their selection and every game that they get added to, the better. But currently, and unfortunately I must say, I am a Mac user and I really want to get into that game. I was like, oh man, why couldn't it have been a Mac release? But uh, I usually look at those things as being positive because usually when that sort of thing happens it means that like... A Mac release isn't that far away. That that sort of thing. So I'm positive. And that was a weird long tangent. Oh god, it's one of the big dudes. I'm gonna shoot this dude because I hate him. I hate him so much. He'll be like a... I should call him like Thompy Thomp Thomps. Since... Ah! Damn it. <laughs> he got one hit on me. I hate those dudes like the most. I don't, I don't hate them more than the guys who, who have guns. But they're one of my least favorite dudes, just because they deal so much damage to you. Ooh, what you got for me? Nice, a shotgun! And th these canned meats are actually very appreciated by me right now. 
Grab our pistol again. Whoa. Was that- is it just me or was that dude- Oh my god, this dude's a ninja! Hit me like... He got all up in my grill and beat me up. But, um... Oh god, okay. Is... We have 83 shots with this pistol! That's awesome! <laughs> Just gotta point that out because I didn't realize how good of a place we were in in that regard. There we go. Okay, we didn't take too much damage from them and it looks like we've come up to our dead end along this area. Did we go up above? Oh, we can't even go up above. There's just two Mario pipes there waiting for us. But we didn't go up above here, right? Oh, it's empty anyways. Even if we did go up there. Ah, we definitely didn't go down, but it's just another dead end. How much shotgun shells do we start with? Only ten. That sucks. Wish that could be a bit better, but... You know, okay, can't, uh... Beggars can't be choosers, so... Let's... Man, this room is making so much noise, I feel like it has to have some significant importance. It's like, we've got machines in here. But nothing else, apparently. Hello, open area. There's a new thingamabob, I don't know if I... I've read that one yet or not. But I think we might as well skip that. I also forgot to set the timer, let's see. Oh god, this dude's gonna chase me while I don't have my hand on the mouse! Timer start. There we go. Okay. Eat my dust. Okay. So, I'm a little surprised we haven't found the teleporters yet, but... The way this game always seems to go, it's either you find them really quick, or it takes like 101 years to be able to find anything. But it usually, I... Oh, here we go. Speak of the devil. Usually, I think it's a good thing when we don't find them for a while, because it... Allows us to explore and find more awesome materials for us. What's this? Right is the plankton farm, left is the military sector. So we're gonna go left again. I believe, yeah, that's the correct left, right? Yep. Because it's the player's left. I figured that out in the last video. It's really... Uh, actually, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say it's really cool and smart. Uh, by the game designers that they make it based on the player models left, but really that is not that in It's not that amazing. What do you have to say? The teleglitch incident 2 the key for unlimited teleportation range is software that uses well-packaged fuzzy randomness inside a fractal information structure that copies the human brain neural layout Using the fuzzy randomness has a small chance to occasionally produce super huge calculations in an instant, making teleportation possible for hyper long distances. God damn, that's one thing that always freaked me out with the prospects of uh, teleportation. Whenever they they say teleportation just like copies your your DNA in a way, it's, it, it feels like, if, if any of you have seen The Prestige, if you haven't, it's a super, super good movie, but, um, um, minor spoiler alert, I guess, actually, it, toward, uh, it's like a middle of the movie spoiler kind of thing, but this, this dude builds a kind of teleportation device, but it's also more of a cloning device, per se, it, it clones... Uh, whoever stands in the middle of it and uh, kind of teleports the clone to a location that you could program into the machine. And I don't know, that, that, that kind of thing just always freaks me out. But that's that's an awesome movie, awesome movie. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. It has Wolverine and Batman in it. <laughs> what more could you- and, um, and Alfred. Uh, oh man, what's his name? How am I forgetting his name? He's such a good actor. Let's just use up this pistol so I don't have to worry about it ever again. Oh, Michael Kine. That's his name. Uh, pardon my horrible, horrible uh, impersonation of him. I've never been the, the best with impersonations. I like to try to do an Irish accent, but I can't really do one even though I'm like 90% Irish myself. It goes like a... 
And then, sir, how, uh, <laughs> that was, even that was garbage, I apologize. <laughs> oh, man. I can only, like, attempt to do a little kid Irish accent, too. And it's always, like, um, oh, what's that show called? Like an Oliver Twist kind of kid. So, ooh, nice, a revolver. You know what I want to find again? I want to find that, like, really big assault rifle weapon that we found in the last episode. That thing was intense. It'd be awesome to get my hands on that thing again. Uh, oh, nice. More explosives and a medkit. Those explosives should actually come in a lot handy since we're running a little bit low on them. So I'm happy to have picked those up. We need to find the blast door... Uh, switch but I have no idea where that is at the moment it's usually we might be going the complete oh no we didn't even need to because this should lead us to the exit I think it usually does is this a door I think every time I I wonder if that's a door and it never is <laughs> okay we have six revolver shots ten shotgun shots Let's give this a shot. Our equipment isn't horrible. But it certainly could be a hell of a lot better because I hate this floor so much. Did we read this? Software security alert. Software security systems. Inaccessible security software error. Identifying error. Error impossible to identify. Security software unexpected changes detected. Verifying... Security software removed. Shutting down terminal. Okay, well that was weird. <laughs> that must uh that must have been like the the start of this whole horrible occurrence. Okay, that's just a zombie. There's just more zo there's a lot more zombies, right? I think so. Wait, no. Not a enormous amount. But let's just use Okay, here's here's a sizable amount of dudes. Let's kind of flank them like this, then blow them up. Okay, we got most of them. And that's all that counts. We've got a really nice open bird's eye view right here. Nice! Eat that, you jerk. Uh oh Okay, here comes additional dudes. We should be very weary. Because one of the... The gun wielders could probably pop up at any point. Goddamn zombies. Stop hitting me! <laughs> We're getting really low on health now. Okay. Nice, okay. He's down. So not too much of a problem for us. Let's take that medkit and the canned meat. Now we're in a bad... Oh, okay, never mind. I was gonna say now we're in a bad situation regarding our health. But, uh... Altogether, we can revive at least 50 health, and there might be more for us in this thing. Here, great. An M chip. All well, those things again. I remember finding one of those before. I had no idea what use it had, though. Nice, a secret. First, let's kind of examine this area. Seems like this dude's the only one, so I'll feel free to use my knife on him. Nice, okay. Zombies definitely go really quick to take out. They're just annoying because they're so freaking fast, you know? <gasps> is this the rifle? Oh, yes! The heavy rifle! This is a good day for the human race. Oh, hey, zombie. Nice of you to say hello, I suppose. Okay, he's down. Down for the count. Down for the count. Well, if it was, like, down for... Uh, the count from Sesame Street, you know? Like you're getting down for the counts, like you're in a... Oh, yeah, like like at, at a party, a dance floor or something, and you're getting down for the count. What you got for me here? Okay, that was a pretty good get, I suppose. Memo to Chief Engineer. We need a squad of welder robots down here. Some of the water tubes have decreased pressure and are probably leaking. Also, check the main air purification system engine. It has been reported to be making a strange noise, and the smell of turpent turpentine seems to be stronger than usual. Well, that sucks. They gotta get on that problem. Tell their people to stop, um, messing around. 
Well, this is kind of an eerie corridor. <laughs> Everything's so orange. And I hate the color orange. I don't hate the color orange. Orange is perfectly fine. I don't know what I have a least favorite color. Now that I think about it. My favorite color is blue. My three favorite colors are blue, red, and black. But none of that really matters. This is like hardware, right? Yeah, hardware. Okay. Nothing in here. I'm beginning to get a little bit fearful. Since we haven't really run up against any... Gun-wielding psychos. Ooh, what's this thing? Oh, I thought the MG was, uh... More bullets for our revolver, but they were not. Okay, we're gonna take out the shotgun, because I have no idea what this is going to involve. Blast doors open. Okay, I kind of figured as much. Hello? Okay, here we go. Here's the swarm. Oh, that was very poorly timed. That was pretty easy, though. Is there anyone else? Shoot! Okay, here comes some dudes. I think they missed me, which was nice. I love the revolver! <laughs> it is freaking strong. Took out that first one in only one hit. Uh, too bad it couldn't have done the same for the other. I don't know if there are headshots in this game or anything along those lines. But okay, I'm feeling a bit more confident, I suppose, seeing as how well that went, but we were able to get a good juke on them. Uh, like, if we get swarmed or anything, we could still be taken out easily, especially by one of those dudes with the machine gun. So I'd prefer to take them out as quickly as possible so I could take my revolver and shoot- Whoa, he's trying to knife me! Dude, stop it! Uh, revolver, please. No, 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 no. Okay, that's good to know. I did not know that they can knife you as well if they get really close. I'm a little sad I accidentally put my mouse on the hardware thing, though. <laughs> oh, shoot! Oh, man. That actually genuinely terrified me. Stop throwing your poop at me. Blow him up. Oh, my God. They're so freaking strong. Okay, that one's down. Honestly, I'd feel perfectly free to take out these dudes with a lot of pistol shots. Because they're freaking annoying! There we go. Hmm, uh, I'm trying to think of how I feel about our situation right now. Got, got our med kit? That's a very good thing. I could have taken one more damage before using that, but, you know, more, uh, better safe than sorry, that kind of thing. And we found the next floor! This is the first time we've gone to this point, guys. Th this feels really good. What do you have to say? Memo to Chief Engineer 2. Uh, Emo, ne need to check the air purification and Oh, no need to check the air purification anymore. We found the cause. A goddamn zombie had got itself stuck in the engine. Must they allow free movement training absolutely everywhere? They're, they allowed zombies to roam freely, this, pretty much. <laughs> that sounds right there. Like the very reason why everything went wrong in this facility. Okay, we're teleporting. We're teleporting out, out of here. Do, 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 do. Where are you bringing me? <laughs> Thank God they can't follow me through that. I have to pass through Necrotic Tissue Research Department next. It is an interesting place, because the nature of death is researched here. What makes one alive? Electricity flowing in our neural, neural tissue? Or something else? Either way, a chip to the head solves that the f philosophical problem with a practical solution. A working body that does not ask for pay. And in case of our research here, uh, a dead soldier programmed to kill? Fortunately, the problem of a chip in the head can be solved with a bullet to the head. And I intend to use that solution. God damn! This place sounds worse and worse with every minute.
I don't know what- Oh, shoot! Nice. Got a little intro to this place, I suppose. This looks like a cool room. What do you have for me? Necrotic orga uh, Organics Reactivation Technologies 3. At first, there was large op uh, opposition to using dead human bodies, vanguarded by the Global Humane Society. However, since no living beings are were harmed, the society lost the final legal case on the issue and went bankrupt as a result. That sucks! <laughs> the poor Global Humane Society! Oh my god! The issue became non-relevant as soon as the fruits of free workforce started to take effect. Suddenly, everybody had food, shelter, and free time. All the hard work was done by dead people or dead animals on drugs. Oh yes, what an ideal society where all the dead are walking around, doing our jobs for us. Uh, oh! That's cool. Storage cabinets were marked on the map. Can we check those? How do we check our map? Info... Huh. Uh, excuse me. I really should check that tutorial, because I still don't know what the these green items are for. They might just be worthless and be cluttering up my inventory. Teleporter location marked on the map. That's even better. Oh, oh shoot! Okay, dodge, 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 dodge like a badass. There's a million and one enemies back here! Does a revolver have any shots still? No. Uh, we're gonna use a freaking nail bomb. Kill them all! I love you, nail bomb. I'm shooting the wall like a ding dong. Okay. Still have a lot of health. Lost our nail bomb, which is a... A big shame, of course, uh, obviously, because I love that thing. Not quite as good as the can gun, but it's still really good. But better... Oh, God! Better to use some items than to die, like we might right now. Just keep running, just keep running. God, we only have 37 health at this point. Okay, we'll let that second door die. I mean, close. Come at me, suckers! Eat my dust! Ha! <laughs> okay. We're still really low on health from that really big mistake of just kind of racing it through this corner. For only this, too. Poison Gardens number five. Note by the Bi uh, Biology Administration AI protocol, the plastic death tree is growing with superb speed, and I've decided to boost this speed further. By using our newest cocktail of enriched GMO plankton fer fertilizer, coupled with elevated radiation levels, carbon dioxide feeding the electromagnetic boost tech. I'm pretty sure we're gonna end up coming across that plastic death tree thing later on, and I'm gonna hate my life when we do. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, what's up here? Okay, only one dude. That's not much of a problem. We could knife him, but... Oh my lord, I can't believe I let myself take a hit there pretty much. But since I... As I was saying before, we could just knife him, but since I'm pretty low on health, I think I'd rather uh, fire it up. Which really, really makes me regret taking that hit. That was awful, in all honesty. But there is some canned meat for us in here, and that's always a good thing. And med kits and our stuff. Thank you very much. I will take both of these at the moment. <clears throat> what do you have? The Teleglitch Experiment 6. We might have made a mistake letting the AI connect with the teleporter software. It has stopped communication with us and seems to be unable to reset our program uh, or program the teleporter. Something is happening in there, and I have a bad feeling about it. If this continues, I'm going to manually shut down the AI. I'm not going to risk losing our AI to some intergalactic software error. Oh, if only he had succeeded in his mission. This oh, this whole situation would be much better. Hello, dude! 
Sorry for you, you're dead now. Ha ha ha. Wow! Whole army popped out of nowhere! We can use the pistol on him, then we'll wait uh, for these guys to catch up a bit. Oh, shoot. Nice. Okay. Sorry for the silence. I was kind of focusing in there a little. Uh, do, 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 do. Well, that worked well for us. We only have one more explosive, though, and I really like those things. We'll hold on to those as much as possible. Is there anything around here that I could scavenge? I hate you so much, mister. You're one of my least favorites. And I'm apparently the worst aim on the planet, which doesn't help. <laughs> I wasted so many shots right there. Ooh, hello, box. Another heavy rifle. That's actually probably good. Really good, I mean. And we got some more revolver ammo! Booyah! Let's stick with that thing for a bit. We could switch between them and the shotgun pretty quickly. The Facility AI Emergency. It seems that the Facility AI didn't have a chance against whatever came through the teleporter. It was not built to cope with alien information. Its code became infested with strange and seemingly chaotic algorithm, al uh, algorithms, and it started behaving erratically. We have to put our best hacker, uh, data scientist number 23, and his team on it. Oh man, Hacker 23, I assume you failed, which makes me very sad. Not quite as good as the hacker from... Oh man, what's the game? Uh... System Shock 1, I suppose. I'm pretty sure that's a teleglitch right there, so I'm not walking any further. <laughs> it didn't really have the blurriness that the teleglitches have, but... Wow! Oh god, he just popped out of nowhere. Along with all these dudes! Catch up, dudes! Das Bedania. Eat my dust. Nice. Oh, shoot. Hello, buddy. You weren't much of a problem at all. <clears throat> Not a problem at all. Not a problem at all. Not a problem at all. This is a nice empty area. I feel like this planet might have been a beautiful place before all this went downhill. It's kind of an awkward color, though, from the, from the look of it at the at the main menu screen. It's like this... This, like, kind of purplish-red planet. Oh, shoot. Okay. Nice! This game! I like this game a lot! When you start getting, like, slow and methodical, when you get to the, the enemy gunners and stuff like that, it, beca it gets a really satisfying feel to it. Like, taking that dude out felt really good. At least the way we handled it. Felt like I handled it very professionally. At least compared to my gameplay from beforehand. Let's see. Is there anywhere we could go up here? I'm looking for a teleporter room, please. Oh, we got a battery? I wonder what that battery goes to. We didn't get more revolver ammo. We did get more heavy rifle ammo, though, which is nice. And probably more pistol ammo along with it. I'm, I'm not sure what we got there. I should have read it more carefully. The Facility AI Emergency, number two. To whoever might read this, we have a serious emergency on our hands. Data scientist number 23 and his team have been electrocuted through terminals they were working on, and we all suspect this was done on purpose by our AI. The coordinates leading to Facility AI Manual Shutdown Terminal have been welded shut by a group of wel uh, welder robots, and they do not comply to our commands. We have requested immediate backup from HQ and have armed ourselves. Everybody is on the edge. God damn, that sounds terrifying. Like, oh, hello, buddy. <laughs> Where are you going? He was just like, oh, hey, I'm gonna meander over here for a bit. There you go, okay, his life has been taken. But I really also like the atmosphere in this game. The, the writing is very good. It definitely sets the tone um, uh, very well. God, that guy hit me a lot. I think at this point I'm gonna go back to using the pistol. 
Hello, open area. Got anything for me? Guys, I don't want to count my chickens before they've hatched or anything. I'd probably say that expert. Oh, shoot! No, 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 no! Oh, freaking nightmare right there! That almost ended me, and right when I was gonna say we might make it to level 5 for the first time. I... <laughs> I kind of hate this game now. I don't really hate it. I actually kind of... Fi I love really difficult games that throw tricks at you like that. I find it very endearing and stuff like that. Just said stuff like that in the same sense twice. I'm a ding-dong. <laughs> but I find that kind of thing really endearing and... Awesome, quite frankly, in a game. Almost walked right into that teleglitch. That would have been stupid. Because, I don't know, for, for a game to, in a way, respect its audience by just throwing all hell at them, I, I just think that's really awesome and, and fun and cool because it makes the game challenging. Was there anywhere else we could go in here? We do desperately need health right now, though. That, that, that almost ended us. Oh, man, we're going way back to where we started. We've just got one of the up and down corridors here, so we might as well go up first, I suppose. Oh god. Oh, shoot this dude! Let's try aim well and true. Revolver isn't the most accurate weapon, it seems. Oh, I totally wasted one bullet right there. Oh well, two's the magic number for taking out most of these enemies, it seems. Oh my god! Okay, that one's down. Sweet. We'll take out the rest of them with the pistol. Should go pretty easily. And we're at 9 health, which is unbelievably frightening. <laughs> I would love to find a medkit or even some canned meat at this point. Just anything to make me a bit more sustainable. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot! This is bad. Luckily, we have a lot of these still. That's them down. And that's a lot of them down. We're out of explosives now, though. Just fire away like mad. <laughs> oh, shoot, we only have ten shots here! There's that canned meat I asked for, though, so I guess I can't complain too much. Back at 19 health. We were just there before. One hit from that big poop-shooting dude brought us to this point. Oh! Oh, the pain. <laughs> There's nothing worthwhile for us up there. Okay, back to the shotgun. We've only got five shotgun shells left. I'm gonna, like, cry, guys. At least if, if we don't make it to Sector 5, I'm, like, gonna cry. Not really, of course. There's more canned meat. Okay. Thank you, shotgun, for taking it. Oh, this is the dude who gets back up. World's biggest annoyance. He's down for the count, though. Count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's the count. <laughs> 1 banana. 2 banana. 3 bananas. Ah, 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 ah. It's my count impersonation. Oh, man, okay. I don't feel too happy about using all that rifle ammo. But like I, I, I've said or hinted at or whatever, at this point, I'd rather survive. Just getting to, uh, the- Oh, man. Just getting to the next floor is my main priority at this point. We do still have the can gun. Can never forget that. The can gun is one beast of a weapon. Hello, dude. Prepare to die. More addition. Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> I was so scared that he was gonna hit me. Is there anywhere we could go up here? We need that, like, uh... Oh, hello. Necrotic organ Organics Reactivation Technologies 1. Reactivation technology changes the worlds that we once knew. Suddenly... Dead flesh became clay to be played with. Oh god, they're playing god! Right there! <laughs> it became a resource. Metal could be replaced with uh, augmented meat. 
It turns out that muscle tissue is a perfect machine if it is imbued in certain chemicals and supplied with artificial semi-organic neural tissue. These dudes are nutcases. <gasps> a secret! I don't think I could get to it though, because all I have is the canned gun! Filled with nails and explosives! Let's just go for it. Bye bye canned can gun. Oh! Medkit and a shotgun? What, what was the other thing I got there? Whatever I got, I don't think it was anything that was too worthwhile. But that medkit is a great grab! Oh, super cool. Did, did the nail gun hurt us, though? I mean, the... Whatever that thing was called, I already forgot. <laughs> I've got, like, the, the memory of a drunk sloth. Hello, thing. Necrotic orga Organics Reactivation Technologies 2. The necrotic tissue activation technology has a was a huge success. The research done by Militech resulted in thousands of zombie soldiers and workers produced all over the universe. All over the universe? Oh no. Having your relatives die became like a pension. You would install a chip and the body of your dead father or mother would start working in, the fa in a factory for you. That sounds horrifying! I'd never want that of my parents. Like, that'd make me cry, like, all day long. Oh, lord. I can't deal with this many units! Not with the supplies that I have. Did I get more shotgun ammo? Did I get more revolver ammo? There's a freaking horde after me! I can't deal with this. I wish I had the cannon gun still. Okay, we're just gonna try to do some juking magic here. Oh, lord! Oh, wonderful. Okay, I think this might be the end for us, guys. Oh, nope. I, I, like I said, I can't deal with this many guys. I just don't have the weapons for it. I mean, I might as well try. Uh, we might as well drop that heavy rifle, and we can... If I could take out those big dudes... Nice, okay, one down. I'd feel a lot better about this. Send you all to hell! Ooh, canned meat! That's a good grab. Oh god. I'm trying to, like, swerve around these dudes without taking too much damage myself. Eat the canned meat. Become a strong, muscly man! Okay, cool. Once again... We're still almost dead, but, it, like, we've got to be close to finding that teleporter. That's all I care about right now, the te- No! 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 Oh, no, 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 no. This is like the end for us, guys. Uh, say goodbye to our life. <laughs> we've got one to help. <laughs> Might as well just run for it, I suppose. Ah! No! You did not want to die, but you did. Next try, try to do what you want to do instead of something you don't want to do. Man, we were so close, I'm sure of it! I think the teleporter had to be in like a really close by room. Or eh, through some corridor we probably missed or something like that, but anyways having so much fun with this game. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and or subscribe. I am the Egg Scrambled Gamer, and I will see you all next time.